Welcome back to Let's Play Deli Rooms of Death, and in this part, we are going to finish level to 15. Ugh, that's... If we're not actually doing that last room that I show, we're going to go ahead and do... Not even that one. Oh no simple plow here. Let's plan the footwork ahead before I get moving. Yeah, we might as well do this. So, yeah, this isn't simple. We gotta basically hit this switch to hit this switch to hit this switch to hit this switch to hit. Yeah, we're zigzagging around. This is actually the hardest puzzle I think in the entire level. So this will be pretty fun to work with. So let's get started. We can begin by going this way, and how I've done this every time is something like this. For the most part. Something like that. I don't really know for sure. But just try to do your best on getting around because it is not an easy task. I, I think I already messed up. So let's go back. I think the idea here is we wanted to actually go all the way over here. Yes, that is what we wanted to do. So now when we go back. Well, we can go ahead and do more of what we've been doing. So... Again, just make sure you have a path laid out because this does get a little hectic if you don't. I think, though, for the most part, I've messed up again. I think over around this door, we want to make sure this space has a lot of open space. Because if it doesn't, we... at least an open enough amount of space. Like so. So then when we actually get to this, we're not in a bad position. Let's try that now. All I know is that I'm trying to leave myself a path this way. And I want to make sure I leave a path for this guy right here. So I think I did. Yeah, I did. Except there's one problem. This is why eliminated undoes is nice. I need to get rid of that one too. Because if you saw earlier, I would have not have... If you look at it earlier, I would not be able to get to it. No matter how hard I try. And I need to get to it. I guess I can do the same right here. So again, it's just more recognition of what you need to actually go ahead and leave yourself a path. And I did it again. Is there like a way I can like... Uh, it's a really big knowledge of what you need to keep and what you need to get rid of. So just really, when you're planning ahead, again, like Petro said, just make sure you're really seeing where you're having to go. Because you do not want to have to, you know, get so far only to realize that... Awesome! <laughs> you don't want to go so far where you... <laughs> I just love that. You don't want to go so far where you cannot actually, um, get through. Seriously, that was like the funniest awesome ever. It's just like, awesome! Anyway... So we're going to do some backtracking and go ahead and go down. And down here, we just got another uh, go for this one, then go for this one, then go for getting all the trap doors. If you're wondering why you need to get this one, is because this and this will not open unless you get this. So just be aware of that. So again, it's more pre-planning. Realize that you should go through every hard to go through passage and just make sure you got enough foot room also yeah you have to go from here singing I don't know the purpose of the switch the switch is literally just to open this but I don't see how that is open because the only way you can get to the switch is by hitting this switch which toggles this so I'm not really sure at the purpose of it but essentially might as well hit the switch now and we might as well just go well no not do that might as well get rid of all the trapdoors we can I guess there is a way that you need to go from the other entrance or something but it's still I guess it's kind of flawed at least what they want you to do I don't really see see it so continuing we're gonna go ahead and go this way 
and go this way and just keep again we had it left ourselves a path to get through so we might as well utilize that path and um I guess this is pretty much it I mean I there's not much more to talk about trap doors at this point but that scroll over there says when re-entering this room after clearing it use the command key to open the trap doors so that's pretty nice if you also notice we've had zero challenges and we already have to exit the level but yeah we had zero challenges in this level this level actually doesn't have a challenge and just as a quick cosmetic thing this switch in the original 2.0 used to not open this so i'm thanking Nuntar for opening it because you'd usually have to go up here then go back around through this room again and go through here so you'd have to go through this first and yeah it got pretty annoying so thank you Nuntar for actually allowing that to open up so we pretty much even though it is level complete we actually um we still have two more rooms to do a secret room and this room so get your seatbelts ready because this one is actually tricky so this one you just gotta basically get these guys in at the same time and then try to maneuver them in a way like so that way when you hit the switch oops sorry when you hit the switch you can get them in at the same time next you want to get focus on this left one this right one is gonna be okay mostly once you realize once we get him into here he's pretty much gonna be yes on a very very unpopulous pathway and so thanks to that pathway we can actually maneuver ourselves around this way now of course we will have to have him go up a little bit but I think that should be fine for the most part so we can go over here might as well get up here a little bit so we have more maneuver room but if you notice before we actually go into more of that might as well go ahead and do that some weird tricky maneuvering there's little other things you can do but basically we have to get the mimics back onto that empty square that's the only way we'll be able to be able to open the red door so it it's kind of tricky and this is actually another hard room it's just trying to maneuver two mimics at once can be tricky so before i hit that checkpoint we're going to go down where the other secret is and we're going to go through a little bit of a labyrinth this, this room is just kind of funny to me i don't know so while we walk through this i'm going to go ahead and go through a quick update um for the hold that i'm trying to make uh i finally got good ideas it's just a matter of making puzzles around them so i'm just doing my best to do that so sorry that i'm not updating anything about it but i'm trying i'm trying so this secret room would be hard if it wasn't for the fact that the challenge we did on the snake level told us that we yes we can do this clear. victory clear and you know how i said that you can't actually go through that you would have to go through all that you could just go back this way but whatever so now that now this level is sufficiently cleared efficiently and so now we might as well go ahead and finish the level this scroll up here tells us that if we use the command key we can actually open the red door once we finish the room so we can not have to do that again and just for the heck of it awkward cut i accidentally closed it and i'm so close to the end i'm not redoing this part so i'm just gonna have to have an awkward cut but anyway next time i wish that button wasn't there it's the windows key i wish that wasn't next to my movement keys anyway next time uh we will continue this level and not continue this level what am i talking about continue this level <laughs> continue the next level level the 16th these roaches need an authority figure to guide them. Someone with charisma and character. Someone like you. Next time is the Tar Roach level. I should say the Tar Mother Roach level. Ugh. See you then, everybody.